conversation this morning with Lottie Meyer is brought to you by Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. And it's so good to meet her. Uh, she is a writer and uh, she's with a company called Fast Company. She's a staff writer for them. And Fast Company's come up with this new Harris poll. They combined with Harris to come up with a poll that says that actually Americans are feeling better than you might think this winter. Lottie, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I'm glad you're with us here today. So this is your inaugural Fox Arranged interview, huh? It is, yeah. The first of several today, yeah. Yay for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zlotty, how's come we're feeling better this year? Everything that we read tells us we're supposed to be feeling really bad right now. That's right. You know, with everything that's going on, obviously the COVID-19 pandemic, politics, racial injustice, the weather, the cold, et cetera, you think Americans would be throwing up their arms and gobbling down ice cream. But in this exclusive Fast Company house poll, we found quite the opposite. In fact, we found that 75%, so three quarters of people who responded to the survey said they're feeling about the same or better in 2021 than they were this time last year. And obviously the question is why, which we'll get to in just a moment. But let me ask you, you know what uh, you expect an answer to be when when you come into a poll such as this. Was it what you expected, that people would say that? I think the pollsters were surprised. Like I said, so many things um, going on uh, socially and politically this year. In addition, in general, winter is known for sort of seasonal depression, whether actually a person has a diagnosis of seasonal depression. Uh, affective disorder or just in general has the winter blues, days are shorter, weather is cold, can't necessarily get out and exercise, do fun things. And that, of course, compounded by the pandemic. We're not seeing our friends, our family, as we did previously. And it just sort of became a perfect storm. In addition, January is right after the winter holidays are over where we have some fun and we have pageantry and we have guests and we have um, uh, gifts. All that would just be the perfect recipe for everybody to have the blues, and we're finding out that that's actually not the case, the opposite, in fact. So how come? Why is it that people actually feel better emotionally than we might expect? Sure. Well, I spoke to a number of happiness experts. Yes, that's a job, happiness experts. And what they've said is that it's really a variety of factors. First of all, people have sort of changed their value system. We're now seeing the things we took for granted in the past, we missed and we now see have value, things like spending time with loved ones. In addition, the fact that the COVID-19 vaccines are here also has improved our outlook. In addition, people such as myself, for example, who commute every day to work, well, we no longer do that, right? We're now going from the bedroom to the kitchen to the dining room table. And without that commute also puts a little spring in our step. In addition, All this is sort of giving us a sense of control that people now feel over their lives, and that brings a bit of joy as well. Yeah, all of those things are are great, great factors. Uh, And and really, there's a resoluteness about us as well, isn't there? The human spirit really does want to be happy and, and wants to feel optimistic about the future, and you can only feel down so long. That's true. People are really developing a a self-awareness, an emotional intelligence. In the past, our lives were go, 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 go. And now the world shut down. And some people are viewing this as sort of a gift, as a silver liner to stop and sort of smell the roses. Not too many roses in Pennsylvania in the dead of winter, but the metaphorical roses and really beginning to look at their lives and find blessings in them. Now, inside this study, there is also a finding that uh, people have a, a, a more defined sense of feeling. Is that the correct, correct way to put that? Or purpose, yeah, a sense of purpose? Yeah, a sense, a sense of purpose in life is, is how it was worded. And what the study found was that 79%, so almost four out of five of Americans, report that their sense of purpose in life is stronger than or about the same as this time last year. Uh, so we're sort of seeing that um, a little bit of our feelings being buoyed with all that's been going on. In addition, people are finding... Um, various activities that they're utilizing to boost their mood. Among them, binge watching. 40% of people say they binge watch TV shows or or movies. Um, People are hanging out with friends and family. One assumes in their pod, in their household. People are reading books. People are spending more time with their significant others. 
uh, people are exercising more. Additionally, and this is obviously not linked to the pandemic directly necessarily, but we also found that 21% of respondents are seeking professional help for their seasonal blues mm. versus 19% who did that in the past. Yeah, our friend Dr. Ralph May comes on with us from the Community Guidance Center, and he points out those that availability of professionals who can help you through a mental or emotional crisis is is so key. And and once we understand that and get through some of the stigma surrounding it, uh, we're so much better off. You know, and that sense of purpose, I think a lot of it as well, Zlati, might have to do with somebody who, who doesn't inwardly focus so much, but focuses outwardly on others rather than on themselves. That has to be a part of that, doesn't it? I would think so. And we're certainly seeing that one thing the pandemic has inspired is a lot of people sort of turning outward and serving their community, whether formally or informally. We hear people say, go and grocery shopping for the homebound elderly or people who are donating their time or, or, or um, you, you know, things like that. And that, you know, giving meaning in life certainly makes a person put a smile on their face, perhaps that way, too. It seems COVID-19, the pandemic, has uh, has flavored everything about our lives these days. But aside from COVID-19 uh, and, and some of the other issues of the day, politics, uh, you mentioned um, uh, the racial injustices that were such a big part of 2020. Um, there is the sense of moving forward uh, and, and trying to find a new path. If the old path is taking you down some roads you don't want to go down, uh, that new pathway uh, that people have been searching for, maybe they're beginning to find it? It's true. And like I said, I really, according to what the, the experts have told me, people have really sort of looked at what's in their life and found value in it. And obviously there's a lot of death and illness around us. So people are looking at their own families and saying, thankfully, my loved ones are still here. My family is intact. So many people, we, we read the, the, the numbers from the federal government every year you know, have lost their jobs. Thankfully, I still have a job or I, I maybe lost a job, but I have the savings to keep me afloat for a while. So people are sort of taking a broader view and finding bits of joy sprinkled throughout, perhaps in a way that we didn't before the world shut down in this manner. Another thing to think about is the expert thing. Not everyone is built equally for happiness. There are a number of factors that determine um a, a person's happiness level. So, for example, uh, research has shown that 50% is genetically influenced. Mm -hmm. Other things are related to a person's life circumstances, factors like health, education, income, marital status, um, a person's conscious thoughts and actions also. So, for example, we now, so many of us connect with our friends over Zoom. So do you view that as an inconvenience? Oh, man, I got to do Zoom, da, 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 da. I got to dust the bookshelf behind. Or do people view it as, you know what, at least I'm able to connect with people. Thankfully, we have the technology that enables us to sort of embrace, um, you know, over the ether. Cultural factors play a role. Also, things like religion, geography, whether a person has faced difficulties in their life before. And, of course, one's ability to historically problem solve, be resourceful, manage stress, be resilient. This also sort of makes up the recipe of, of who is um, slightly happier during this time as well. She is Lottie Meyer. Uh, frankly, ice cream is a good thing to dive into, and I think you would agree with that. Tell me about Fast Company. Uh, sure. Fast Company, we are a uh, magazine owned by Mansueto Ventures. We're based at Seven World Trade Center, and we uh, write about uh, innovation in the business in the business world, everything from work life balance to uh, technology. Very good, and we can read you there. Any place else we need to go to find Zlotty? Sure. Well, I welcome everyone to follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Zlotty Meyer, and I'll spell that for you. First name Z like zebra. L A T I. Last name Meyer. M E Y E R. Beautiful. Zlati, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. We appreciate it. Super. Stay well. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Bye now. 20 minutes after 8 o'clock, it is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160.